Mike, all right, we ready for the mic? There we go with the mic. What's up, y'all? So let me go ahead and get these headphones. One, two, one, two, one, two. What's up? How y'all doing? So today we are talking about important health tips from your keto coach. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm going to show y'all some stuff today. What's very good for your health and that can help you on a lot of things that goes on with your body. A lot of things that happen to people's body, like inflammation, like mucus, and so many different things that hurt the body. And I'm going to show you what can help the body, right? So we got tips today. And the other one, another good one, is the apple cider vinegar. Man. And I'm going to make a drink in front of y'all. And you're going to see how good it is. Here we go. All right. So we do have a small little thing that I'm trying to get rid of. Hold on, let me put it back. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, hopefully y'all can hear me good. So if y'all can hear me good, give me some thumbs up. Give me some emojis. Give me some. Here we go. Hold on. Let's go. So if y'all can All hear right. me good, give me some me, thumbs up. We got a delay over this one. All right. All right, guys, so I got you over here. Uh, shout out to Bad for My Tummy. You know what? It's not bad for your tummy. You're just probably not taking it right. A lot of times people think they can take it, and it's too, it is too strong. But if you take it right, you won't have to worry about it. For some reason, I, feel, I hear an echo in here, and I don't like that echo, but I hear an echo in here. And then hopefully I can get that rid of that echo right here. One, two, one, two. So have a little echo in. Pretty soon, man. Something out with my sound because I got a new Mac and uh, for some reason the sound is getting a little echo. But I'm going to go ahead and fix all that pretty soon because, I mean, I got my, my studio. It's all, you know, maybe I got to add some more to it. But I'm going to show you a drink that you can do that I take every day or every other day. And it's very good for your health. It's good to lower your blood um, sugars. It's good to help you with your immune system. It's good for your circulation in your blood. It's good for everything. It's very, very good. And I'm going to show you how to take it. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So we got the glass right here. And then I'm going to try to bring this camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me try to bring it down. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me see. I look all crazy. Excuse the room. We got it's, everything's unorganized a little bit. But I'm trying to bring this down right here so y'all can see the glass. There we go. So we're going to squeeze some lemon in it. Uh, y'all can't even see that. Hold on. All y'all seeing is, is my hand. So let me bring this back up here before I make a mess. Okay. So I'm squeezing some lemon on glass. It, uh, lime. Lime's very good for your body also. And lemon is also. Um, I just have lime right now. And we're going to go ahead and do the MCT oil. And this is the MCT oil that you want to use. Very, very good. MCT oils, like, 
it's coconut oil, but it's to the strongest power. So it's it's not coconut oil like you would get from anywhere else. It's it's a very very strong coconut oil. So that makes sense. All right. So we're just gonna put a little bit. We're gonna put like a little, this right here. Like, that's it. That's all you need. That right there was probably like a one fourth. And again, if your body's not used to this, you want to put very less of this. Maybe even less than that. You know. Um, I do I do this every day. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do apple cider vinegar. On the apple cider vinegar, we're gonna go ahead and hit it twice. So we're gonna go one and twice. That's it. So right there, there's probably about a tablespoon. And and you wanna take less, like maybe like more well, maybe two teaspoons and a half. And I take it like that. You could take one teaspoon and you'll be okay. And you can measure it. I'm not measuring it right now, but that's okay for me, you know? All right. And now, um, I don't see it. So let me find it real quick. Lydia. Lydia, if you're watching my show, please bring me the pink salt. Lydia? Maybe she's coming. I don't know. But I do want to put some pink salt on here. And I don't got no. I thought I brought it. But I don't know where to have it put. Maybe I didn't bring it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add water to it. And you want to have a good water. Right? You want to have a good water. And um, we're going to go ahead and add water to it. So pretty much the rest is going to be water. There she goes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Now close the door. All right. He was dying to be on TV. Love you too, babe. So, all right. So you're looking at probably seven ounces of seven ounces of water. Give me a second. All right. Seven ounces of water. We're going to go ahead and twist it. Twist the, the, the pink salt, Himalayan salt. It's not salt. It's a very, very delicious rock salt. And, well, it is salt, but it's just a very good for you. It's not bad. So we do twist two times around, right? And now we're just going to mix it in. And you want to drink this with a straw. And the reason why, because the enamel on your teeth, you don't want to mess up the enamel on your teeth. And when you take this, you want to take it before you brush your teeth or maybe 30 minutes after you brush your teeth, right? And then if you're going to brush your teeth after you take this, then you wait 30 minutes. Okay? It just helps you. All right. So once you do that, then we're going to drink it. Right? And I'm going to drink it in front of y'all right now. But just want to let y'all know, man, I want to give you some tips out there how you could change your life and how you can enjoy yourself. And it's just things you have in your house that you need to get rid of. Right? Because they're toxic. And some of the things that you need to get rid of is canola oil. Olive, uh, olive oil is the best, right? So canola oil, let me, let me talk about the bad oil. So canola oil, uh, sunflower oil, the one, two, three oil. You could buy that oil and it's very cheap. You buy that oil for a dollar, two dollars, right? And the reason why it's so cheap because of all everything, it's processed and it has all these bad chemicals. They have chemicals in there that's supposed to clean the oil out, right? When they're burning the oil, but it's not clean the oil. Some of that stuff still stays in there. Number one thing that's bad in that oil is it causes inflammation, right? And you need to stay away from it. I know it's cheap, and I know you want to grab it, the canola and the, the um, how there's so many, uh, vegetable oil. Those are terrible for you, terrible for your health, especially if you got joint pain, if you got inflammation, if, you, if you're diabetic, if you have high blood pressure. This is one of the reasons why you're going through what you're going through, even psoriasis, even stuff like that, skin problems, acne, because of the oils that you're taking in, right? So that's that's one tip right there from you. Change out your oils, and the oils that you can have are these right here. So you can buy one of these big old oils right here. I buy them all the time, right? And you could buy this from Sam's, or I'm sure you can get it. Also at the other one, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but the other place like Sam's. And if you read the back of it, the only ingredients that it has is olive oil. Let me see. Ingredients. Refined olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. That's it. Nothing 
else. Nothing else. And you might be saying, well, Free, I can't cook fried chicken with and I can't do this with. But guess what? That's why use this one. And this one right here is avocado oil. And again, the only ingredient on here is oil. Avocado oil. There's nothing processed in here. There's nothing. There's no chemicals in here. They didn't have to clean this oil. You see, if you change out your oils to these right here, so you got one for frying. So I use the olive oil. And yes, I'm going to be the first to tell you, it's expensive. It's expensive. But what's not expensive, especially these days? And would you rather pay for an expensive oil or pay for an expensive doctor? You tell me. I'd rather pay for an expensive oil. And if you change out your oils, you would start healing yourself. Your body will start being different. You will start feeling different, you know, but you need to change out your oils. OK, so that's one tip right there. And that's a very important tip. And you can find all these tips in the book. The truth key to his life. I show you how to make this drink. Right. And we're going to get to your play. Free's not going to oh, free's going to drink this and free's going to enjoy it. This right here helps with if you're bloated. I don't even know. I, it's been four years, actually four and so many months that I haven't been bloated. I haven't went through no heartburn or nothing, you know, and this right here is amazing for a lot of things. And one of the things that people go through is heartburn. And this right here, we take care of it. Man, I, I had so many problems wrong with me. I had. Uh, uh, what's it called uh the problem in your stomach um gastritis i had asthma i had high blood pressure i had some anxiety i had depression i i had so many things where people never knew right and um it's just i was living a terrible life i, I was real big i was everybody knows i was real big i lost 98 pounds you know i mean look right there you see me right here look let me show you miss it right here right there this is me before this is me right there look i mean i lost 98 pounds and i beat all health problems all health problems even the mind health problem and how did i do that i did that because my mind controls my stomach my mind controls my thoughts i'm in charge of my mind so my mind controls that and i'm in charge of my mind so i do what i need to do and you know, a lot of times when people eat and keep on eating, eating is because they keep on eating. You know, food makes you keep on eating. So we're not going to talk about intimate fasting and everything, but we will have a show on that. We'll talk about it. If you want to know about anything about intimate fasting, let me know. I'm a coach on that, too, and I'll help you. I do 20 hours intimate fasting, and it's a beautiful life. It's the best, right? Guys, I will be 51 in January the 12th with God's willing. 51. Do I look 51? Do I feel 51? No, not at all. I feel good. What is that? Like, I feel good. Dun, dun, dun. You already know. Uh, man, so that's one thing. Change out your oils. And I know there's going to be some times where you, you can eat wings because if you're doing a keto lifestyle, you can eat wings, right? But even if you're not doing the keto lifestyle, Change out your oils. Change out your oils. There's little things like this that can change your life. They would change your life. I promise you, they would change your life dramatically, right? Okay, now, everyone in America is addicted to sugar. Sugar is as addictive as cocaine eight times more than cocaine from what i hear look it up eight times more than cocaine and that's why it's so hard for people to break that addiction you know when i first um stopped taking in sugar for the first week i felt sick i remember the first week i said man i'm, I'm deleting sugar out of my life and I felt so sick. I felt like I was going to die. You know, I was like, man, I ain't eating sugar. Why do I feel this way? The next week, I'm in denial. Damn, what what am I doing? 
Why am I doing this? Why am I torturing myself? The third week, I started noticing things. I started noticing how my response was faster. My, my thinking was amazing. Like, man, during that time, I opened a few businesses. Bam, 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 right? Money, business to make money, you know? And my thoughts were just at another level. And even my sinking in, it was just everything was so different. Then I felt so good. I was like, man, is God getting me like making me feel so good because he's coming for me or what? But it's not that. It's just that I was taking all that toxic that I had many years that I would take many and many and many years for through my whole entire life. Well, growing up. And it's a different kind of feeling. I never had the energy that I have now. Like my energy is to the, to the roof, you know, like I, my energy is up there, you know, and that I mean, look, today I took my kids to school. I go back to bed sometimes. I go to bed for about an hour and a half, two hours. Sometimes I can't even go to bed. I got too many things to do, so I just stay up, and I'm good, and I'm good, and I'll stay up the next day. And I know they say your body needs sleeping, and that's true. Your body does need sleeping, and I do sleep. I sleep about three, four hours, and I'm good. I'm good. I'm really good. does my body really good. But what I'm getting at is my energy level is to the sky. You know, I've been seeing a lot of great people, man. I've been seeing a lot of great people, and... Uh, Jessica Jeans, man. Okay. I, she put me on her show probably about now, about maybe a year and a half or a year ago. And I didn't have my book yet, but I have my book and I'm hope I'm hoping, I hope if she hears me now, I hope she invites me again to nice and point nine and I can go over there and I can show my book and everything like that or my cake mixes and stuff, you know, but she's really awesome. She's been, she lost, a, she lost a lot of weight. I don't know exactly how much weight she lost, but she lost a lot of weight and I remember one time thing she was telling me that it make it makes you feel different, you know, and, and it makes you smile more. You smile more. You're more happy and you think different, you know. So shout out to her. <laughs> shout out to her. And um, people become who they want to become. People are who they want to become. People. There's no difference between me and you. If you want to make the move and want to make the change, then you can. A lot of times we're lazy. We don't want different. We want to be comfortable. I'm here to tell you that anything comfortable is not going to help you. You know, you're going to have to be out of your, you be out of your element. You're going to have to be somewhere you don't want to be at, you know, I tell people, man, you feel the pain right now, but there's going to be some awesome, awesomeness after. You know, I remember that I remember those times where I would go to bed and, and then I would I would be hungry. In the very beginning, I was hungry, man, but I, I knew that I didn't want that life. I knew that I didn't want that. I, I didn't want to go back to that. It was so easy for me to say, man, you know, I'm going to grab me a Coke. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But I haven't drank a Coke since four and a half years months or whatever the month's been it's been that long that i've drank sodas you know and sodas are toxic everything is bad for your health everything why do you think when you eat something you're sleepy you're you eat something and you're like oh man i'm so sleepy and you fall asleep why because you just ate some corn or you just ate some french fries or you ate all this bread or you ate all the sweet bread or whatever it <coughs> was but it's not good for you and you eat this right change it up you know people people have been passing right and from covid right but it's not covid covid's the part that's putting like putting it the, the, the frosting, whatever you want to call it, is putting it over the cake. But what it is, it's your health. It's how you've been living. It's how, how much weight you have on you, you know? And I'm not talking about the weight in your stomach. I'm talking about the weight that you got in you, you know, all the bad health that that's what's happening to people. Yeah. I know there's some cases where people passing away that they never had a health problem, 
But if you're if you can't tie your shoe without getting dizzy, that's a health problem. If you can't bend over without getting dizzy, that's a health problem. You know, and that's the reason why you got to build your immune system up. You got to build yourself up because if not, you don't have that fighting chance. Now, I'm not God, so I don't know what to expect or what you have to expect. I, I'm not here to tell you. But what I am here to tell you is that give yourself a better chance that if you do get the COVID or whatever you might get, we got other things coming. It's coming. But whatever we do get, protect yourself. Give yourself a fighting chance. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. A lot of times people have given up. They have given up. You know what? I cannot move this leg, so I'm going to give up. Then you got people fighting for their life. <coughs> fighting for their life. Fighting for their life. And still trying to move around and do what they're going to do. But yet, we give up. You don't want to give up. I do these shows so I can help you. So I can show you there's a better way to live. I've been there. I don't talk out of here. I talk out of here because I've been there. So when I tell you something about diabetes or high blood pressure or anxiety or depression or stains on the body, whatever it is, I have already went through it. I have already been through it. So don't think that I'm that coach that don't know what you're going through because I do. And when I do my shows, I'm talking in general. So I'm not trying to talk to just anyone. I'm trying to talk to everyone. And if the situation helps you and builds you and changes you, then I've done something. I had somebody call me about a month and a half ago. I haven't heard from them. Michael, that was his name, Michael. And I hope to hear from him. He called me, I want to say he was calling me from California. I'm not sure, but he's seen my video on Facebook and he called me and we had a talk and he says, man, I don't want to mean to hold you up. I said, you're not holding me up. I'm talking to him. I'm actually load, uh, setting up my DJ equipment. I'm talking to him on the phone because of what people were going through. He sounded like he was ready to give up, you know? And maybe he watch, Maybe he'll watch this video. Maybe he'll give me a call. My telephone number, 832-715-2557. You know? And I'm here to help you. So, another thing that can help you is this number one selling cookbook. Number one selling cookbook. Don't just take my, my word for it. Go look at the reviews for yourself. In Amazon. Go see it. You know? But I am going to get to this drink. Y'all probably saying he ain't got to the drink yet, but I'm going to get to this drink right now. All right. So number two, like I said, everybody has sugar and, and all kinds of sugar, brown sugar. They have the white devil sugar. They, all these sugars, they have uh, cane sugar. They have all these bad sugars in their house. Take them out. Replace them. With monk fruit sweetener, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Replace me. Replace it. I had a friend that said, Hey man, can I take that sweetener with Kool Aid? What? Yeah, can I take that sweetener with Kool Aid? Do you know what kind of ingredients Kool Aid has? No, you do not want to take that with Kool Aid. You know? But people always want easy. People feel that, oh, man, if I can't have this, how am I supposed to live? I was talking to uh, my wife the other day. I told my wife, you know what, babe? You know, I don't miss. And this is crazy because this was my favorite places. I don't miss Timmy Chan's. 
You know, I don't miss the wings. I used to go buy those wings and I used to get extra rolls. And I didn't like the, I, I mean, I, the rice was okay, but I used to get fries. So I got the fries and the jalapenos and everything, right? I don't miss that. I don't miss that. I can make my own wings, you know, and they're better for you. And they're very, very good. See, all these places, they use very cheap oils, very cheap oils that hurt your body. That hurt your body. And it's not good for you. All right. So change out your sweeteners. Okay. Number two. All right. And. So change out your sweeteners. Well, first it was change out your oils was number one. Number two, change out your sweeteners. Number three, change out your fruit, which you eat your fruit. Watermelon, too much sugar. Pineapples, too much sugar. Cantaloupe, too much sugar. And everything else that's fruit, too much sugar. Bananas are terrible, right? But what you can change it out to is the berry family. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Did I miss one? Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Oh, my. Anyway, so there's times I just get uh, berries and I'll just chunk them off. Very good. You know. Start if you are eating nuts. You want to eat higher fat nuts you know it change out your nuts so the highest ones on fat are macadamia nuts macadamia nuts are very good for your body for your health for everything now this right here if you start doing this if you just change it up and start doing this you'll see a huge difference if you wake up in the morning and you have to have breakfast if you could skip breakfast it's even better but if you wake up and you have to have breakfast have you three or four slices of bacon and maybe three eggs, real butter, no toast. Don't have no toast unless you can have solar bread. It's just don't have no toast and make you the drink that I'm about to drink right now. Get away from the orange juice. Get away from everything like that. Drink you a Zevia or drink you um, some water or whatever, right? If you start changing it up, you're going to notice how good you're going to feel. And that's not that's not the best part. The best part is you're going to start dropping all this weight. Your weight, your waist is going to go down. My stomach used to be way over here. My I couldn't I could never roll into the to the to the thing like that all like that. My stomach would stop me like right here. I couldn't go all the way over here. Anyone could tell you. You know, I had a big stomach. And when you have a big stomach, you have fatty liver. Fatty liver is not good for anyone because it causes problems. Fatty liver will cause mucus. Mucus will cause inflammation. And that's terrible in anyone's body. Right? Now this right here, this right here can help you with fatty liver. Can help you with blood sugars. Can help you with your high blood pressure. Can help you with everything and you feel good so you just get it right here and you just slurp it Ah, that right there is a pickup. Mm. You know what? When you take that, it goes straight to your liver, you know, and it just picks you up. It's like a, a boost. It's just like a like a boost, you know. And it feels good. It feels really good. You know, like my just like, rah, like just, it's hard to explain until you take it. 
And it's a good feeling. It's a real, real good feeling. You know? And look, it's all gone. It, it's all gone, right? Get the lime. Suck the lime. You know? Excuse me. But, guys, there's a reason why you should listen to my tips. Important health tips from your keto coach. And you do not have to be doing keto to listen to me. You do not have to be doing keto to change this up. If you are eating all these bad oils, all these toxic oils and taking all this sugar in and you think you can go to the gym and you could change your inside. I'm sorry. It's never going to happen. Yeah, you would look fine and you would look good from the outside. But your inside will always have problems. And I'm not saying big health problems. I'm talking about inflammation. I'm talking about unbalancement you won't your body will not be balanced your mind won't be balanced i'm talking about so many different things how many times have you seen somebody that works out and everything and they got problems they're they got attitudes they're mad they're so mad at the world or um they still have diabetes or they they still have you know i know a girl personally that still has anxiety and she's like a gym rat she, she's into crossfit you know so you, if you want to take care of the problem, then do what I tell you. And I guarantee you, you'll feel different. You'll smile more. And it's just a different life. And you'll drop weight. And you can go buy the pants you want or the shirt you want or whatever you want to do. And you're going to feel good. But uh, I want to play something for you guys real quick. This is called The Dangers of Sugar. Here we go. My wife, I wrote it and my wife's saying it. Here we go. She got a beautiful voice. The Dangers of Sugar. Unstable blood sugar control insulin resistance. Sugar can damage the insulin receptor sites on cells, causing them to not work as well as they should. This makes it harder to get the glucose into the cells to use as energy. The body sensing it needs more glucose in the cells, puts out more insulin to try to compensate. Increased risk for type 2 diabetes. Eventually, the compensation can't keep up and a person's blood glucose levels rises. There is a continuum of dysfunction until a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes can result. High insulin levels are inflammatory and can also create a host of other issues. Increased body fat obesity. An increase in belly fat increases risk of chronic disease like heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Increased free fatty acid accumulation, which can have negative effects on blood lipids, triglycerides, and cholesterol. Leaky gut. Excess sugar feeds the bad bacteria like candida in the gut and can lead to an imbalance in the gut bacteria. Dysbiosis, or an overgrowth of bad bacteria, is inflammatory and contributes to leaky gut and a cascade of mental, digestive, and systemic health issues over time. Increased risk for certain cancers. Sugar feeds cancer and excess sugar intake. Poor blood sugar control and increased insulin production increases your risk for certain cancers. Increased inflammation, which is the precursor for all chronic disease. Adrenal stress. The effect on destabilizing blood sugar levels creates fight or flight response which creates a stress on adrenal function. Cell damage. Damage to the cells in your body which lowers your cells ability to communicate properly with each other. Sugar reacts with proteins in the body and damages them and their ability to function properly. Increase in dental cavities. Cardiovascular health issues negatively affects brain health. Did you know that we now call Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes? How much sugar is too much? Keto is Life TV. Told you she's awesome. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much, man. Uh, keep on following me. 
If you're whatever you're watching me on, if you're watching me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. If you need any help, reach out to me. 832-715-2557. If you want me on your radio show or your show, or if you want me on your podcast, whatever it is, and you want me to do an appearance there, reach out to me. 832-715-2557. Or you could email me. You could find me. I'm real easy to find. I'm everywhere. Guys, if you're following me on TikTok, at Keto Coach on TikTok. At Keto Coach. Hey, take care of yourself. Be blessed. Until the next time. Bye-bye. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life. Tea.